everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today on this Monday. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I put down a layer of the Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. My pouring medium for that paint was my usual uh, of two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirt of Gac 800 and a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. The rest of my paints will go over. I am using the Blick Rick Mars Black. I am using Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Silver Fine. I'm using the um, Amsterdam Titanium White. I'm using Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown, and it, this is the last of this tube. As you can see, I've cut it and scraped out the paint. And if you've watched my prior videos, I've given that hint that if you're down to the last bit of your paint, don't throw your tube away, cut it in half, and scrape out the paint. You'd be amazed at how much paint really is left in that tube. And my next color is a combination of the Amsterdam deep gold and golden iridescent gold fine combination of those two my next color is liquitex basics turquoise blue and golden fluid acrylic teal a combination of those two pretty colors now i'm using a new pouring medium for these paints and i got this idea from Kathleen Osmore of Cos Creations, that's C-O-Z. If you haven't checked out her channel, I suggest that you do. She's a very good artist, does a lot of really nice swipes, which, by the way, I am doing a swipe today. And my paints today were, um, my pouring medium for these colored paints today is the M1 Latex Paint Additive and Extender. Now, this I purchased at Sherwin-Williams, and I'm not sure if you can get it online or not, but I did go to our local Sherwin-Williams store, and it cost me $10.99, and it's a quart. It's, it has the viscosity of water. So these paints are very, very thin today. Let me show you. I'll show you with the white. Just they're just about like like water. Don't leave a mound. Very thin. So I had to um, work with them, getting using different amounts of this M1 to get all my paints the same consistency, because that is the goal. Okay. Uh, no silicone added, just that M1 paint extender is the only thing I mixed with these paints. And my swipe color today is going to be white. So let's get started. And I'm going to lay my paints down Jilly Cube style. She, another person to watch is Jilly Cube. That's G-I-L-L-Y Cube, K-U-B-E. Um, she does a lot of swipes also. And sometimes when she lays her paints down for swipes, she just goes all over the painting like this. And I'm just gonna try that today. That was that Van Dyke Brown. And here's the silver. Make sure I get it all on there. Now when um, Kathleen Osmore from Cos Creation used this M1 paint extender, she got a real burst of uh, cells and she did not use any silicone. So I'm just looking to see if I can get anything like what she got. We'll 
we'll just have to see. And here's that turquoise blue and teal mix. Just love this color. And again, I'm going to scrape out everything to make sure I get all the paint. This is an experiment for me. I'm always experimenting, trying new things. And if they work out, I hope that you give them a try too. And if they fail, then you'll know not to, not to follow my example. Okay, and now I'm gonna lace the black down. And lastly, the gold. And again, scraping my container out here to get all that pretty gold on there. Okay, and like again, my swipe color is white. And I think I just, let's do a diagonal swipe today, just to be different. Okay, I'm just going to go with that much paint for now since my base coat is white also. And I'm going to use my Swifty Swipe. This is another thing that I've learned to make from Jilly Cube. Um, it's just using a palette knife and then tape and making these little Swifty Swipes. So let's see how this works today. If not, I can always switch to um, the paper towels. And I'm going to wipe off my Swifty Swipe after every use here. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it around. And there's just a couple areas I might add a little more white to. Okay, start in this, over on this corner here. These colors are very pretty together. And I do have a lot of paint on my canvas. I may have to tip, tip some of this paint off. And 
Okay. And I will fix up my sides off camera. And I think I'll torch first before I start tipping. have little pockets of cells coming up I see okay now I'm gonna do some tipping yes my paint is very thin and there is quite a bit on there as you can see. And I think that's kind of, uh, that's a neat, that really looks neat that it's um, flowing all the way to that end. I like that. Very pretty. Okay, now I'll bring it back this way. See if we get some more of the paint to flow off. It is flowing uh, slower. Okay, I'm just gonna try and tip it a few more seconds here. Okay. Even though I did um, do my swipe from the middle down, um, as you can see, it's run all through the whole canvas. And like I said, I really like that. It's very pretty. It looks like wood almost in here. And I'm gonna give it another torch to see if uh, we get anything up on this painting. Any more cells? Very pretty. And I'm going to get my other torch, if I can find it, as that torch seems to be almost running out. This one's a little better. Okay, I'm tempted to do some balloon kisses on this. Part of me wants to do some and part of me says, no, leave it as it is. It's very pretty. So I think I'm going to leave it. I just really like it the way it is. And um, I'll get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, what we have here is a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I did a swipe on, but I did let the paint run, run uh, right across the uh, canvas, and I really like the effects. I did a little bit more torching off camera, and you can see just little clusters of teeny cells coming up here. Very pretty. And I think the reason I like this painting so much is it's beach colors. 
That gold is very pretty, very shiny in there. And this is the, um, the lower left-hand corner of this painting, right in here. And I'll take you up the middle. I do like the streak of the black. Very nice. Just offsets everything else. There's some black up in there. And I'll take you over to the right-hand corner here. Again, you can see this, this, those little clusters of cells there. Maybe if my paint would, if I would have run even more paint off, I would have gotten more cell uh, development. But I, I like it the way it is. You can see a lot of those little cells in here. And in here. And I'm just taking you down the left hand, or the, excuse me, the right hand side here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Sharing it is important if you know of another artist that may like to see this video. Uh, make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. Um, until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.